Salut. Uh, so I would like to talk about uh, the pronoun, uh, pronoun complément indirect. So we saw before in the other video pronoun complément direct, and now I'm gonna go on the pronoun complément indirect and try to explain you this. So as I said on the previous video, we have uh, verbs that requires um, a preposition for some of them. So for instance, if I say je parle à ma mère. I speak to my mom, à ma mère. You can see that here there is something between my complement here and my verb. So this is my verb and this is my subject. Okay? So that is a complement d'objet indirect, an indirect object complement. It's indirect because you've got a preposition between the verb and the complement. So this is indirect. Okay? And if you want to pronominalize this, if you want to use a pronoun instead of à ma mère and you don't want to repeat this part of the sentence and in fact in English you would say I speak to her okay, in French you will have to use the pronoun indirect and the pronoun indirect are me, te, lui, nous, vous, leur leur, okay? Me, te, lui, nous, vous, leur. This is the list. So it becomes in this context, à ma mère, it's to her, her is this one, and as you can see, it's lui. And it would be the same for to him or to her. So in my context, it was to her, and that would be lui. Okay? So if I put that into my sentence, then that becomes je, lui. Parle. Je lui parle, I speak to her. If you had, instead of à ma mère here, we had à mon père, to my father, à mon père, to my father, then it would have been exactly the same, lui. Je lui parle, I speak to him. So, of course, you will tell me, how do I know if someone says je lui parle, how do I know if it's to him or to her? And I'm saying to you, you will have a context, because you can't say this sentence without a context. It's impossible. So because of the context, you will know if it's to him or to her. Don't worry. So far I've survived 31 years and the context were all okay. So if I survived, I'm sure you would. Hey, no problem on that. So je lui parle, I speak to her, I speak to him. À mon père, it's lui. À ma mère, it's lui because we have only one here. Same for leur and that is uh, to them. Okay, so in fact if I say je parle à mon père, et à ma mère, I speak to my father and to my mother, both of them, then it will become je leur parle, je leur parle, okay? Leur here, it's a pronoun and that is not um, an adjective possessive. Some of you have learned mon, ma, mé, such as mon père, ma mère, mes parents, ton, ta, t, son, sa, se, notre, notre, no, votre, votre, vos, leur, 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 for their. This is different. Leur, in that context, is an adjective. This one, it looks the same, it's spelled the same, but this one is a pronoun. So you can see that here the grammar is important because you need to discriminate, you need to differentiate two words. And this one here is a pronoun, je leur parle. So this is the list you'll have to use. If you want to say, you speak to me, that would become tu, tu me parles. Ok, so tu me parles, je te parle, je lui parle, vous nous parlez, nous vous parlons, you, we speak to you, yeah, and je leur parle, I speak to them. So this is the list here. And of course you need to know what verb are using a. Uh, I can say that all communication verbs are using a. So parler is a communication verb. I speak to. Uh, écrire a to write to. Téléphoner a to 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 phone to. To call to yeah to to phone to someone. Uh, so yes, you will have to learn what verbs are using a. Of course. Now, if you are using both, uh, if you are using both pronouns. You will have a specific order to remember. So, if you want to use a direct uh, pronoun and an indirect pronoun in the same sentence, you will have to use a specific order that we're gonna see in another video. But for now, we concentrate only in indirect pronouns. So, je parle à ma mère would become lui, and of course, the pronoun 
goes right before the verb. So the rules that you have learned in the direct pronouns will be exactly the same for the indirect pronouns. So direct and indirect are not so different, it's just that one is um, using with direct verbs, so transitive direct, and these ones are transitive indirect, so you need a preposition between your verb and your complement, so therefore you are using this list. Okay, I hope that helped, and au revoir!